I'm 7 News reporter Jordan Johnson. In a recent study that came out, it states that if you eat a toxin-filled fish, it's equivalent to drinking toxin water for one month. But fishermen say that's not going to stop them from doing what they love. And it's just something that I've done. You know, some people played sports like baseball, football. You know, I wound up becoming a, a fisherman and hunter, and that's just my... I love to do it. Roy Hakovian is the owner of Nick's Sporting Goods and says 50% of his sales come from fishermen heading out to Lake Erie. And although high levels of chemicals can be found in fish, Roy says most of his customers are not concerned. They're, you know, they're filling their freezers with fish. If they can do it, they ride out the winter. So how much they eat a week or a month, I, that I don't know. But not, very seldom do I get people with concerns. But according to the study Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper participated in showed that fish found in Lake Erie have 11 parts per trillion of a toxin called PFAS, and it's one of the highest in the country. PFAS are compounds used in consumer products and industrial applications. They're used in Teflon pans. Low exposure to PFAS have been linked to cancer, thyroid disease, and even weakened child immunities. It's definitely concerning that there are contamination levels that are the highest in the Great Lakes region. And this is just kind of additional data and information that is, is building the story that is not good for um, folks who live in the Great Lakes region around PFAS. What makes the chemicals so dangerous is that the toxin is unbreakable and it stays in your system forever. These chemicals have been produced in some form since the 1950s. Um, but the insidious nature of these chemicals is that they build up over time. And so you're going to start measuring them and seeing them more because they're reaching detectable levels. But not all hope is lost. You can reduce the amount of freshwater fish and also catch younger fish. But Jill Jedlicka says still be aware of what you are eating. It's cause for concern, not panic. Um, but we shouldn't wait for that panic button to be pushed for us to act. Jordan Johnson, 7 News.